truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Last time we headed up... What's that town called? Prim. Prim doesn't have... A, well, much of anything compared to Good Springs. It doesn't have a doctor. It has one guy running a... Ooh. Sorry, but you're delicious. Yeah, it's got one guy with a star... Oh shoot, huh? There's a there's a lot of them. Well, we can work with that, can't we? Wow, there's a lot of them. How many big horners is this? I should count when I'm finished killing them all. Oh my god. That was gruesome. Like, I thought that this was going to be like a job with a tire iron and get out and be done. Oh my god, they're going to kill me. I, I, I'm blown away. There's so many fucking sheeps. All right, let's start the count. One, two. Oh, whoops. Um, boost repair. I gotta stop pussyfooting around. Oh shit! Yeah. Um. Hmm. Lady killer is good. Comprehension. I kind of need comprehension just because. Um. Toughness is good, too. Yeah, I kind of need comprehension just to help me read the, the skill books. Okay, so that was two we were on. Three. Four. Five. Six. And I'm full of meat. Let's have a beer. Seven. I was sure that there was more, though. Yeah, I really felt like there was more big horners that I'm not seeing here. Eight. Nine. Ten. Yeah, I would say that that, that qualifies as a herd. That's a herd of big horners right there. So I'm running low on this, but a new thing that you can do in Vegas is, bam, swap it. So what I want is these, because I just have the most of them. They're decent, um, but the main thing is that I don't want to have to hot swap it mid-battle. Though now that I say that, I realize that I should get rid of that, so I don't have that problem. Coyote Den, huh? Actually. <laughs> oh, there's nothing here. Oh, wait, there's a bright follower. Two pounds. Oh, he's got a he's got a rifle. Okay, I thought he just had a. Uh... Oh yeah, I can repair these. I thought he just had a regular old fucking thing. The shoot bang. The uh. uh... Wow, and I guess the texture's fucked up back here because. 
Yeah, it's just really black. Weird. This is probably a safe way to carry this, right? Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Nice and easy. So, for those who don't know, um, this is my 100% playthrough of Fallout New Vegas. I'm treating it as though it is a stream, although I'm recording it in advance, so it's a let's play. Uh, if you're just joining me, and I don't know why, I'm going to play through every single part of Fallout New Vegas. Hidden Supply Cave? Well, that sounds great. Yeah. Oh, perfect. I actually need those. Huh. So you can see that not even like shotgun ammo is uh, just shotgun ammo. There's different gauges of shotgun. It got really granular in this game, and I think it's it's a little much. Not the different types of ammo, but um, it can be kind of irritating in survival mode, just because you have uh, ammo has weight. Viper guns. Uh oh, this could be trouble. Or wait. Um, let's take some medics. Because I kind of foresee a problem coming here. 23. Okay. And then let's have it resting here. She melted. That, I didn't mean to pick that up. I think, uh, yeah, so I think, what are they? Junkies and, uh, uh, junkie type characters just spawn with random shit on them. Wait, what did I even pick up? God, this thing's kind of becoming a liability. I should probably sell it. Oh, I picked up her armor. Okay. Gosh. Golly. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's try to be evasive. Get over this hill. Slam a few of those. Get the dynamite out. Start throwing. My vision's blurring because my head's crippled. Okay, I got rid of one of them. Let's go back in with a shotgun. Oh, wow, his armor's really high. Click. Okay, well. Count yourself honored. You were the one that I used this on. Oh, we have a doctor's bag. How nice of him. That metal armor is nice, but man, is it heavy. I really don't need that taking up space in my inventory. Um. Oh, my hat broke. Damn. Switch back to that, then. Some DT out of it. Oh, wait, didn't I grab? Yeah, I did. So that means that I can take this. Yeah, look at me. Um. It's going to be really annoying to have to use a doctor's bag this early in the episode, so I'm just not going to. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll head to Nipton. Oh, man. That is also going to be annoying, though. I'll head to Nipton. Quick travel out. See where it gets me. 
Or actually, I've just discovered something, haven't I? I don't want to waste progress. Eh, that's not close enough. So, yeah, one of the game's signature scenes is coming up. And one of everyone's favorite characters. For those who don't remember the intro, um, basically there's some tussling between New Vegas, as in, you know, the hoes who just want to gamble. Uh, the NCR, who are basically America 2, Electric Boogaloo. And Caesar's Legion, who uh, appear to be the resurrected Roman Empire. Which doesn't make any sense, but... Hey, maybe when you see him, you'll start to get it. They're role players. And they don't actually understand how the Roman Empire worked. One of the things about the Roman Empire that made it last so long is... When they, uh took something over, they didn't fuck with it too much because it would make the people unhappy. However, here, you can see there hasn't really uh, been a lot of care and consideration given to that. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here, especially any NCR troops you run across. What lessons did you teach here? Where to begin? That they are weak and we are strong? This much was known already. But the depths of their moral sickness, their dissolution, Nipton serves as the perfect object lesson. Well, what exactly happened here? Nipton was a wicked place, debased and corrupt. It served all comers, so long as they paid. Profligate troops, powder gangers, men of the Legion, such as myself. The people here didn't care. It was a town of whores. For a pittance, the town agreed to lead those it had sheltered into a trap. Only when I sprang it did they realize they were caught inside it, too. You captured everyone? Yes, and herded them to the center of town. I told them their sins, the foremost being disloyalty. I told them that when legionaries are disloyal, some are punished, the others made to watch. And I announced the lottery. Each clutched his ticket, hoping it would set him free. Each did nothing, even when loved ones were dragged away to be killed. You slaughtered innocent civilians? Ha! <laughs> innocent. Hardly. Cowardly, though. They outnumbered us, yet not once did they try to resist. They stood and watched as their fellows were butchered, crucified, and burned. One by one, they stood and hoped their turn would not come. Each cared only for himself. Well, I'll do as you ask. Then I bid you, Wale, until we meet again. So, this is Caesar's Legion. True to Kaisar. Hold your tongue, wastrel. So they talk about how, like, oh, yeah, Caesar's Legion came in here and they just fucked everyone. And uh, for some people, that's enough. They, uh, they, th some people just really like Vulpas. I don't see it. I mean, I guess I see why people would like him, but I think he's full of shit. The thing about fascism is that it's ultimately really self-defeating. My head, boy. And they can't train their dogs worth a damn either. Who boy. Who boy.
Uh, let's take some goodies. Let's drink three pounds of cola. Oh, my beer wore off. Shit. Time to imbibe. So yes, this is your first appearance of Caesar's Legion. I am of two minds about it. Some people are like, this is uh, this is a little extreme, don't you guys think? Because uh, one of the things about Caesar's Legion is they're evil and fascist. And some people are like, actually, let me give you a counterexample before I get into this. So in Skyrim, you're introduced to the two main factions in the quest Civil War. In the very intro of the game. And you're introduced to them through the start of the game. Fuck. I was trying to grab that mine. I saw it, but I just kept selecting her. That was annoying. Anyway, so yeah. So you're introduced to the Legion. You know, the Empire. Because they're trying to cut your head off. You know, kill you. Execute you. And you're introduced uh, to their opponents. Um, Ulfric Stormcloak and his boys at the same time. And uh, they're badass, you know, war guys who are also having their heads cut off. And, like, the nature of that just implies camaraderie. But the idea is that you're supposed to be able to see them as equals, you know? Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Uh, don't follow me. You'll live longer. Okay. You're a dangerous sort. I get that. But I have some information I think you'll find useful which made me follow you for a spell. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. What's so special about these caps? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. So you collect these caps too? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Uh, I'll be going now. No problem. If you now, you wouldn't happen to have those caps on you, would you? It'll just be easier if you hand them over. He did. I sniffed him out, I did. See, that was a, that's a random uh, thing that's not supposed to happen there. Oh, give it me. Give it, oh, yeah, give it all to me. Oh, shit. Well, that ain't good. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. forgot to upgrade my armor or uh, repair my armor anyway uh skyrim so you are introduced to both of these guys at the same time uh and you'd think it would be a case where they show you each so you can be like okay this guy's like this this guy's like this but what they they do is one of them's trying to kill you the other one's working with you it's not really a fair cop you know what i mean you don't really get the chance to make your own decision. But 
because the game is giving you this idea, you know? And it's also, it also has to do with Americans. Um, a lot of Americans allege they're anti-imperialist. Um, they're opposed to the idea of it just because of the Revolutionary War. But that doesn't actually mean anything when it comes down to it. They might just, you know, say that they are. But what I'm getting at is that the idea of a guy who's like, I am the emperor, uh, rubs a lot of people the wrong way. And I mentioned Americans because these games were uh, American productions. They were released in America first. So yeah, it's this whole thing where like, you're kind of, you're not sending the wrong message. You're just sending a message and that shouldn't be your intent. Your idea, the point of this should be that you allow people to draw their own conclusion, but that's not what you're doing. You're just like, hey, Empire bad, Stormcloak's good. Uh, Caesar's Legion is kind of the opposite because Caesar's Legion is not like, they're not the Empire, you know? Because the thing about the, the Legion is that like, you know, they're evil, but the Empire on the other hand, the Empire like builds roads, The Empire will... Like, the Empire builds roads. The Empire is in charge of a lot of things. The Empire isn't, like, super evil and scary and shit. They're just here to do their job, you know? And you could argue that thinking that the Empire is, like, against everyone is kind of not it's just, it's just needless, you know? Whereas Caesar's Legion is openly fascist and super evil and shit. And so to give this extremely harsh, like, just severe, super scary thing is like, yeah, that's cool. That's scary. You should scare people. Pleasure doing business. Because Caesar's Legion is scary. They're supposed to be. They cultivate this thing of like, hey, fuck you. Oh no, I lost karma. You looking to buy some supply? Anyway, yeah, it's just a uh, a thing that I note. Skyrim is not written as well as. Oh, fuck, I should have put these on. Ah, oh, well. But yeah, as I say, Skyrim is not written as well as uh, Fallout New Vegas is. Even though Skyrim is written uh, better, much better than... Oh, fuck. Fallout 3, that's it. Give me a shout. Take it easy, take it easy. Oh, my ant nectars. So what do I even have on me? Okay, I've got this. Patch that up. Oh, yeah, right. These are disintegrating. Out from under me, no less. Okay, well, let's drink... Beer. Let's get my body repaired. And then I'll go get my items repaired. Yeah, I'm like limping and shit. I'm all busted all to shit. But yeah, it's just something I notice. Um, Bethesda games are made in a very specific way that I don't know if any other game is made like Bethesda games are. And they're so widely played and modded and discussed. That's the past tense of discussion, by the way. I'm not saying disgusting. 
Okay, cool. How are you holding up? How are you holding up? Oh. Hand it over, boy. What is 22 used for? Oh, this has to go. Goodbye, mercenaries grenade launcher. I'll miss ya. Uh, that means that I can sell this, yeah? Yeah, I can. Um, I still need that. Okay, that's all. Now, as for you, you're gonna hand over uh, a doctor's bag and one stim pack for my trouble. And then I'm gonna head down to. I need a little cooked. I need a little cook camp. One of the little things where I can cook. I need a, a campfire. Campfire. That's what it's called. This is episode four, right? Anyway, yeah, that's just my thought process on some Bethesda gamins. Uh, let's warp to the source. Bonk. Now that'll leave a goose egg on your noggin. Guess what am I missing? Okay. Okay. I've got an idea. Someone just walked by outside my window. That was scary. I need, like, Lad's Life. Here it is. Yeah, here we go. Oh my god, yes. Yes! That is supreme. That is all-encompassing. Feel my powers. God, look at that. I got gecko steak. I got dog steak. Look at that, all that food. Look at all that food. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Man. That was a good use of a uh, survival buff. Okay, melee is not going to be smart here. Wow, was that Noko? Wow, that was great. Ooh, fantastic. So yeah, check this out. All I need is one Brahmin. Nope. Uh, one big horner steak. Here they am. It's gonna be plus two strength. And now I can jack all this shit off of them. Steal all their crap. What are they gonna do? They're dead. Okay, well I'm I'm one pound overweight, but that's okay. I'll drink some water, and then, oh yeah, I need to fix myself anyway. Uh, let's quick travel back to Nipton, because I've got some stuff to talk about there. See, so Caesar's Legion burns this shit down. They're like, hey, look at us, look at our fat penises, you know. We're big, we're here, we're cool, we hate women. Yeah, I just liked Caesar's Legion. I mean, they're meant to be in... They're an evil aligned thing. You're not supposed to like them. And, you know, siding with them, which you can do, is meant to be a thing of like, hey, I'm being a dickhead, you know? Or I'm an incel in real life. Or uh, I'm just seeing what happens. Or I'm an... You know, there's many reasons that people would side with Caesar's Legion. But the point is, is that they're meant to be an evil aligned faction. And even though they are evil, though, I want, I want this to... Because I was thinking about this. 
Even though they are evil, that doesn't mean that they're idiots. Caesar's smart, but he's one of the only people who is. Uh, everyone else is pretty stupid. Such as the nature of like fascism and being chaotic evil. It's very self-defeating. Ah, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. And like, I even was talking about how I wanted some mines. Okay, some of these I can drop. Yep, drop you. Yeah, I'm gonna need a little bit of that. On account of having the shit kicked out of me. Oh, come on! Well... I kind of expected that to happen, honestly. Okay, this time, though. Oh god, the game's crashing. Yep, crashed. Oh, fuck. Hey, and we're back. Uh, not even too far away from where we were. I'll just drop a little quick save there. So, um, I don't remember where it is, and I want to get back on the road. But, um, if you talk to Volpez more, he's like, Oh, yeah, fucking Caesar's Legion just came through here and slapped our ass cheeks and everyone died. Uh, there was no... Oh, we did it so good. And if you look, um, he's full of shit, like, explicitly. Like, you can find, uh, dead legionaries here and there. Yeah, I did it. Also, I noticed that these scorpions appear to be living in a, um, a trailer. Sorry for, uh, you know, hustling and or bustling on in here and... Making a right pig's ear of things. Yep, see, here's one. So you can see that their armor is pretty solid. It also, uh, almost unfortunately, looks pretty lit. I say unfortunately because, man, that shit looks cool. It's a shame that it's, like, so evil. So something I actually wanted to bring up in relation to, um, uh, New Vegas. Wait, what? Big Horner steak is what I ate, right? So I drink a beer? No? What? Let me just... Oh, fuck. Just quick load. Just... What the fuck happened? Right, come on through. Kill Mr. and Mrs. Scorpion. James Scorp, Scorpion Lawyer. Because I'm this close to the bug stomper perk, so. Okay, 250 out of 250. Okay. So I'm noticing almost some cross contaminations between uh, Bethesda games. So Morrowind comes out, right? And I almost don't want to talk about this, but a big part... Actually, no, Daggerfall. So a big part of the plots of Morrowind and Daggerfall are the Numidium, which is a giant robot. Yeah, Numidium is a giant robot, like straight up. It's a mecha, and it's kind of out of place because it's in a fantasy world, but... There it is. But in a weird way, um, 
Elder Scrolls almost changed to fit the weird the weird shit in the world as opposed to the other way around. Which is why we love it. But, you know, anyway. Let me save here. So Numidium's the, the the deal now, right? Oh, he shot one. I see. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, just kill me. Take me. Okay, this is gonna need to be a little more carefully handled, I see. Anyway, the new deal is Numidium. Numidium is a thing that drives the plot. It, you know, it makes the donuts. Wait, stuff is exploding behind me? What? What is he shooting me with? What are you holding, dude? Oh god, he's got a grenade launcher. That's the problem. Anyway. I feel like that might be a bit of a waste for just one guy, but fuck, when it's that, that's a problem. Like, God, this dude thinks he's fucking Rambo. Hmm. All right, sorry, grenade rifle. Grenade rifle, Chan. Oh, it's eight pounds. Oh, this armor that I can't wear is taking up my inventory. That's the problem. Oh, damn it. No, stop. Who's shooting me? I'll just load the fucking save already. This is just, this is awful. God, I can't get the thing I've been trying to say for like 20 minutes out. Anyway, the deal is... Mechs are important in the Elder Scrolls. Giant robots, you know? That sort of thing. After uh, one of the other Elder Scrolls comes out... Fallout 3 now has a giant robot in it. the Nemidium. She said, now I notice. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna grab that. Oh, wow, that's weird. Because <laughs> it's the only thing that produces light. That makes sense. I guess I'll drop that. Because I like it, but it's not doing anything for me right now. Keep that topped off. Fuck! I was right there! How could I have missed? Anyway, yeah, in Fallout 3, there's this big fucking robot. It's called Liberty Prime. It's this whole thing. Because the, the end of the game is, is about Liberty Prime. And the importance of Liberty Prime is just that it's a big robot. Because Numidium, the Dwemer built it, and they kind of built a god. Like, the Numidium is essentially a, a god.
All right. Whereas Liberty Prime is just a big, it just shoots things. Oh, wow. I should be, like, respectful here or something, but... Oh, wow. Um, that's a lot of stuff, though. Oh, this isn't going to work. Um, hmm. Well, I still need to fix myself up a little more. Actually, no, I don't. I just... Hypochondria. Oh, yeah, this is a minor spoiler, but the ending of Fallout 4 is also about uh, Numidium. Or uh, Liberty Prime. And, like... The fate of the world rests on whoever has Liberty Prime, and, like, whoever has it is the winner. Like, it's just the thing that makes you win. What's going on here, guys? Mm-hmm. You'll pay for that. If you guys can find me, I'll pay for it. There you are. Oh, they can't see me. Come on. Just fall over already, please. Thank you. May as well take everything. Oh, wow. This is pretty fortuitous. Well, why don't we just settle down here? Because I really want to get a lick at him. That's okay. You can't hide from me forever. Uh, fellas. Oh, wait, yeah, let's... I can't put this on. That'll do, I guess. On. Yeah, I'm just trying to lick him because I want the experience for killing him, but I'm not going to have the chance. I think I got him. Nice. Glad that's over. Talk to me, boys. So it looks like we got two traveling merchants spawned right next to each other, which is kind of weird. Come on, please. Hey there. Need anything? No, I do need something. I clicked hey the wrong there. button. Need anything? Show me your motherfucking wares. All right. Uh, this is full, so you can have that. I don't need that. I don't need that. Um, oh, this is new, actually, so I want that. Uh, I don't want that. That is busted all the shit, but you can have it. Um, yep. And then... Bam, bam... Bam, bam, bam. I'll hold on to this for now. Bam, bam. That thing sucks. It looks like my dad's cowboy hat. Take those and all these. This is pretty lucky, honestly. I didn't expect to find a trader out here.
See what he's got on him. No armor, huh? Damn, that's unfortunate. Let's have some of this. Ooh. He doesn't have the money to pay me as well. Let's take that. Okay, yeah, there we go. Um, and then... Ten? No. Give me one back. Give me two back? There we go. Okay. That's a deal. Still over encumbered, though. Hey, you're pretty beat up there, bud. Your Brahmin looks kind of stupid, too. So, yeah, normally you only get one of these guys, but I guess two of them must have just spawned right next to each other. I was planning on hoofing it all the way to Novak. Um, just, you know. Oh, maybe I can cut him off. He turned. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Come on, you're my only hope. I need you to talk to me so you can buy my shit. I'm just a little over encumbered. Please trade with me. Hey there. Need anything? Yeah, I do. Some customer fucking service. Uh, take this revolver off my hands. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, take that. Um, this is good, but I have better things. Um, take that. Let's see what else I've got in here. An ammunition. Got anything I might want? Varmint rifle. But mine is pretty maxed out. No armor, huh? Really? Shit, man. I'll take these. I can turn them into stuff. Oh, man. What is happening? What? Oh, no! Oh, fuck, when did I save? Oh my god! This, this episode's over. Holy shit. Oh, man! Come on. I'm not even gonna get that lucky again with the with the fucking the two merchants. That only that's a random that's a random thing. What even hit me? I never even saw. Did a fucking Caesar's hit squad materialize out of nowhere and start shooting? Wow. Hachi machi. Uh Ivan Alfred, that was New Vegas. Holy shit. You fought valiantly, but to no avail. Your twisted and ruined body goes down in a hail of bullets and thus ends your life in the wasteland.